Oh, I hate it. I, yeah. I cannot oh. wait to, uh, <laughs> to move on. I'm really hoping that, um, really I'm hoping for the Kelly Clarkson gig. <laughs> you know, I think that she's, she's got a lot to offer. Also, uh, if Ariana Grande Yo. isn't, uh, you know, satisfied with her drum machine, mm-hmm. you know, I could I could totally stand there and, and punch buttons for her. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll put that into cool. the world. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I've been wondering. I've been like looking for her like Twitter address. I can't find. It. I'm really well. I'm re- I'm really happy. I'm really happy with uh, this situation. It's um, you know, it's a group of like-minded people. We all like to play live music and we like to work and write songs and tour and, and do all this stuff. So it's really, you know, there's, we have a lot of common uh, interests. Yeah, common reference points and common musical taste and all this kind of stuff. So that's you know that's really what it comes down to when you're when you're working with people is like can you can you get along on all these different levels? Oh shit, that's right. Yeah, you're doing that. <laughs> God, I better I better pack. Yeah, that's gonna be a good time. Where um, you know it's always fun to play to. Uh, your own fans and, and to play to, to shows where, where people know every word to every song but it's also a challenge to, to play in front of people who maybe haven't seen you before or, or have only heard you on the radio or whatever so like that's that's a whole nother um, it's, it's just a whole nother way of, of, of playing shows so this is a cool tour actually because we get to do that and then in between the Green Day shows we're doing our own shows um, in certain cities so we kind of get to do both kinds of sets. I mean, uh, there's they're all fun to play because they're they're new. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, it's this new thing, and, and it's fun to see people get excited when they hear their favorite song off of the new record, you know? Um, I really do enjoy playing Boyfriend. Yep. It's a really fun song to play live. Um, I think Delicate Petite is also something that it's kind of a, it's kind of a sleeper. Like, you wouldn't think that that would have a lot of energy live but it really works well and um so we've been doing that one that's fun you know i don't know there's no there's no bad eggs everybody no. says that about their their new record day, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh it's our best stuff ever and you've kind of had this uh interesting uh situation here where you've had close musical relationships with both tom delong and matt skiba um this is true Yes, you formed AVA, uh, Angels and Airwaves, with Tom DeLong and Matt Skiba you worked with on the Hell EP. Do um, you keep in touch with those guys at all? I mean, I do. Uh, yep. Probably Matt more than Tom. Tom's pretty busy with uh, his stuff. And Matt, you know, Matt's just, I don't know, Matt's a friend that we uh, we did those two EPs with. And, you know, we're looking to do more stuff in the near future. It's just a matter of coordinating times. You know, we're both yeah. kind of busy, but, uh, you know, Tom has a family and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And he's, he's just always, he's always doing something. He's always busy, but, um, yeah, we definitely keep in touch. Well, and I'm just wondering, cause I, I honestly find it fascinating, but like regarding Tom and the entire, the, the whole alien thing, I know he's writing a book now about aliens and that kind of stuff. Um, did you ever talk to him about that sort of thing? <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, he would talk for sure. I mean, he, yeah. he absolutely loves all all things conspiracy theory and all ideas um, re- regarding alien abduction and presence and existence and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm definitely somebody who, um, you know, I, I think that that stuff is interesting, but I, it does not it doesn't grab my attention the way it grabs some people. You know, conspiracy theories are like, oh, wow, yeah, wow, that really kind of makes you think. Yeah. Anyway, um, look at this motorcycle that I love. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a, we just have a different uh, point of, of, of interest, really, on that kind of stuff. But, yeah, he would. that's been something that he's been interested in forever, for as long as I've known him, you know. It's been a, it's been a great time. I'm looking forward. I'm going to be at the Hamilton show, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, come say hi for sure. Yeah, definitely, man. All right. It was good talking to you. I appreciate it. All right. Take it easy.